John Smee, are you here? Awesome, you in the back. We'll talk about feelings and emotions and other stuff. Uh, everybody, uh, if you're standing in the back, by the way, there's lots of seats. You can sit in. And if you're sitting, you can also stand. Yes. And if you're doing either of those, you can lie down. It's international waters, everybody. Do whatever you want. Keep your clothes on. <laughs> I love you, Joko Crew! All right, give it up right now for Lori Finkley. supposed to be comedy and it's not going to be that either. So. <laughs> um, also, uh, this is Robin's fault. She invited me on this cruise and she told me I should tell you all this story. So uh, that's pretty terrible. Um, so, the story about my grandmother. She really liked to tell stories. She was actually a very sociable person. Um, she really liked to tell this story, which she found hilarious, and it's not <laughs> at all. <laughs> but I thought I'd tell it to you guys out of stand-up comedy routine because that made sense to me. So there you go. So my grandmother grew up in Nazi Germany, and you can see how funny this is about to be. <laughs> She's Jewish, I should cover that. She's not Jewish anymore, she's dead now, but she wasn't <laughs> Jewish. <laughs> anyway, um, so she grew up in Nazi Germany as a Jew, which is terrible, and um, was just kind of all around terrible. And um, I think it was like in the mid-30s, I'm really bad at dates, but anyway, um, all the Jews were expelled from public schools, so she wound up going to a Catholic school, uh, because her dad knew the local priest who was like, mm, sure, okay. Uh, <laughs> not that that made her life better. She was still in a classroom full of Hitler youth being taught by nuns who were telling everybody that she was personally responsible for our Lord and Savior being murdered. So that was pretty bad. Anyway, um, she was at this Catholic school and it got to be around Christmas time. And what does every Catholic school do around Christmas time? They, they do the nativity play. Um, so they were going to do the nativity play, and they are going to cast the nativity play. And for the nativity play, you usually need uh, Mary, Joseph, Jesus, maybe some barnyard animals, and three kings, one of whom is black, because obviously that's how the nativity looked. You had a bunch of blonde people in the middle of Israel, and they're black from <laughs> So if you were a Nazi, and you needed to cast a black person in your play, who would you pick? You would pick the Jew. <laughs> so she got cast in the play. And I should tell you, when she told this story, she was really excited about this. She was like, I got cast in the school play. It was awesome. That, yeah. So anyway, it gets to be time for them to do the play. And um, she's getting ready and get a robe done, and what would be the absolute worst possible thing you could do in this situation? Give her a lump of coal to blacken her face with, which they did, and she did. So she's, you know, a tiny little Jewish girl in robes and black face, walking out on stage for the Christmas play, and um, she walks out on stage, and everyone starts to laugh at her because she didn't do her hands. <laughs> so she had a black face and little white hands. And this is the part she thought was really funny because <laughs> she didn't realize how terrible it was. And everybody that she told the story, she pretty much had the exact same reaction that you're having right now, which is, oh my god, uh, do, I, do I have to laugh? Do I, can I back away slowly and make it stop? <laughs> you can't, by the way, no. <laughs> um, so this was her hilarious story about her childhood. 
um, and her really funny Christmas story, um, where she was laughed at by a bunch of Nazis in a school auditorium on Christmas because she did blackface incorrectly. <laughs> yeah. um, so I decided to tell you guys that story. I don't really know why. Sorry. Um, <laughs> the, the the funny part is that it's you know you thinking back on how horribly not funny that is, and then you remember the sad part is that she thought it was funny because when you grow up somewhere with that much hate around, you don't actually notice it, even when it's being directed at you. And it would be really terrible if that was still a relevant message, but luckily we're not in that situation anymore. <laughs> so we're, we're good, we're good. Um, that's everything. I'm gonna limp off the stage now. <laughs> Thank you for having me.